Okay, so last time we found a dead body that looked like Iris, but wasn't. Was they were pregnant, probably with Iris, because since they looked like Iris and all that, I'm. As we go into Hitomi's Somnium, my theory, potato, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> is that that was Iris's real mother. And since um, Tomi was her best friend, or she was Tomi's best friend, that that means that Tomi is looking after Iris and raising her as her own for that sake. <laughs> Where is that flower bud? Oh, well, it's right there. A flower bud. I can. Worship. <laughs> Worship it? Yeah. I will pray to it as though I am mourning the dead. Oh wow, that actually worked, okay. <clears throat> it bloomed a little? I don't know what caused it, but it's better than nothing happening. Huh. Rocks, uh, rocks, you can make <laughs> Golden tree. A hole in a tree. I may be able to fit inside. to be eaten or anything, right? Well, I hope not. Whoa! Oh. I fell, but I am still in the forest. It's darker than before. What? Is someone there? Hey! That voice is... Find out where that voice is coming from. Well, that actually progressed. Rock two. A rock. I I guess worship it. <laughs> but it's gods live in the rocks too, you know. A rather Japanese way of thinking. Just try it. If you insist. It's also because I don't really know what else to do. Right now. How was it? You've cleared your head, right? Yes. I now feel a sense of emptiness. <laughs> this was a waste of time. I do not want to hear that from you. But All you right. gotta time it. Check it. This is a simple rock, but... Is there any kind of pattern? No. There does not appear to be. Five minutes left, Doctor. A rock. <sighs> Fine, lift it. Do what? Just try. Understood. <laughs> well, did you find anything? No, of course not. Hmm. A rock. <laughs> Kick it, too. Understood. <laughs> <laughs> My Sorry. foot hurts. I see. My foot hurts. Easy. Sorry. Sorry. Yes, you can't do shit with a rock. Well, I was going to restart the somnium anyway. <laughs> I'll let you. Flower bud. Worship it. It's like a 
have to follow the lights to the tree. A hole in a Stick a hand in. I Map. Wait, Renju? No, they're Did I get a timey at least? Ah, uh, no I didn't. <laughs> the only timey I got is uh, sucker, you wasted your time, timey. Is there any kind of- No. Ah. A hole in the tree. It looks about as big around as a soccer ball. Okay. Well, I guess... <laughs> Can you peek inside? I cannot see any- Anything else? I do not see anywhere that air could be flowing from. Hmm. A hole in the tr Five minutes I'll left. Stick the hand I in. am not going to be sucked in, am I? Oh, we don't know. That's strange. It should have worked. Did you want to see me get sucked in? Yeah. Scream. <laughs> the Emperor is naked! I get that okay. right. What about the Empress, though? The Empress is naked! Sounds like my kind of empire. Let's move there. <laughs> I don't see anything. <laughs> Nor do I. Okay, so I don't think I can do anything with the tree. Wait, Renju. Renju Okiura. Talk to him. Renju, what are you doing in a place like this? He won't answer. Not in a place like this, at least. Renju Okiura. Four minutes. Ah, uh, four minutes. Yoo-hoo, Renju. Come get some of this. Sorry, that was a bad idea. Yeah. Don't apologize. This is Renju's fault for having bad taste. Uh, uh huh. Renju. Hit him. This is for neglecting your responsibility to Mizuki, you coward. No use. I can't hit him. This Renju is still a teenager. He wouldn't know Mizuki yet. Renju. Okay, inspect him, I guess. He looks young. But this is definitely Renju Okiura as he appeared approximately 20 years ago. That's a long time ago. So wait. Renju. Nothing I could do to. Okay. <laughs> yeah, nothing I could do to Renju worked. So. Hole in tree one. A hole in a tree. Stick a hand in. Rock. A rock. 
I guess worship it because investigate did nothing. Aha, I got the time here. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's the rock. A rock. I wonder if I can get something every time I worship it. it... Aha, okay. Five minutes left, Dante. A hole in the tree. Tackle. Understood. I will do my best. Huh? Did that... This is a oh. picture of Hitomi, Renju, and Monica. I Everyone was not so expecting young. that to work. Hold on to that. I honestly was not expecting that to work. So I'm guessing go to Renju and show him the picture. Renju Oki. Yeah, show the picture. Renju. Look at this. Wait! Renju, stop! After him? Fuck it, jump in. Really? Yeah, go ahead. Understood. <laughs> Ow. Uh, it's even more difficult to see now. Another voice? Monica! That's Hitomi's voice. Where is she? Look for her. Oh, that's... Okay, I've already been to that rock. Okay. Another hole in a tree. About as big as a capybara, I estimate. Capybara. Are those big furry rodents? Those are pretty big. Because I think they're big furry rodents. <laughs> Since they screamed... Hitomi! Date likes Hitomi! Hey, what are you trying to say? Hitomi won't remember this sink, but still. Oh, that worked. Hitomi stopped. Okay, but where is Hitomi? So wait, if the, okay, if the hole in the tree is there, I keep running past it. Okay, there's Hitomi. That's Hitomi. Talk to her. Hitomi, what are you doing here? I guess she can't hear you. She looks like she's looking for something. That's a to- Uh, how girl? Hitomi! Hmm, I see. Well? She dresses modestly, but underneath she has a curvaceous body. <laughs> oh, damn it, that Good wasn't work, 
That's good to know. I don't think that was it. All right. Three minutes, Dante. <sighs> but what am I supposed to do? That's a toucher, I guess. Where? Well, um, you could, you know, touch her. But in this somnium, she might be a minor. Her stomach. Test how soft her stomach is. If you say so. What the hell? I touched it. So, what's the softness situation? Tell me. It was soft. Nice and pliant. No noticeable abdominal muscles. Valuable information indeed. Thank you, Iva. <laughs> Date. You old pervert. He's 30. He's not old. That's Hitomi. Okay, I don't know what else to do. Hitomi's like Renju. This must have... Something must have happened around that time. Okay. that is I have to uh, might be important hold on to it oh shit I took you have less than two minutes Dante hurry where's it told me oh shit oh I made the mistake of thinking I that's a told I'm in the mistake of thinking I'd already been there. Do you remember this? <laughs> Wait! Follow her! On it! I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this. A rock. Hole two. We look for it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That's rock two. Hole two. A large hole. Jump in. If there is nothing left to do. Date, what is going on? I don't know. It's pitch black. I can't see anything. I see. Then it is not me malfunctioning. Can you feel your way around? I can try. <sighs> I'm actually thinking I'm going to have to go back to lock two. Stick a hand in. I... 
Okay, but now where's Tommy? Bracelet. On it. Okay, we did it with an extra hundred seconds. So now where is hole two? Three right. minutes, Dante. A large. If been. <laughs> I see. Okay. Find my way. There. A lycoris flower. Okay. Ah, uh, worship. I mean, that worked on the one flower. Nothing is. Ha That's to be expected, but. A lycoris. Uh. Grab it. I feel a little awkward, but. It's useless. The roots must be a lycoris. Then dig it up. Let's do it. I mean, that's all we really have to do, left to do, because I don't investigate. Wh what? Good. Oh, hey, another, another hole. A large. You have less than two minutes, Dante. Hurry. We've come this far. I will not protest now. Well, this better be the last uh one. Otherwise, we are double fucked. That is... Ah, oh, shit. Is that Monica's grave? Yeah. Wait, her right eye. Um, excuse me? Also, that thumbnail was remarkably easy. Compared to what I was expecting. I, I still had to like redo it and stuff, but yeah, <laughs> compared to '89 Somnium and some of the other ones. But tell me, I think I know what happened 18 years ago. You three were close. You, Monica, and Renju. Yeah. Monica was murdered. You and Renju found the body in the mountains, and you brought it back to the cold storage warehouse. Yeah. And my guess is so Sejima killed Monica. I've seen inside his head before, using this machine. I see. If you know that much, then there's no point in hiding it anymore. Iris isn't really your daughter? I'll tell you the truth. I mean, I could be wrong, and she could be, but... <laughs> In which case, boy, will I look silly. Wait, Renju and... Oh, shit. Wait, you're going to see So? Yes. I want to talk to him in person. No, you can't. Do Monica and Iris have the same voice? Why actress? not? Are you worried about my body? You don't have to worry about that. I'm totally fine. 
But your stomach is still... Oh, my doctor told me that's normal. Your stomach doesn't go down right away after giving birth. Right. I'm not worried about your body. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. So doesn't care about you. And especially not your child. I haven't told him about giving birth. Wait, it was So's? He contacted me for the first time in a while. So that's why. He wants to know about the baby. He must be panicking. If anyone ever finds out his mistress had his baby, his political career would be over. Or that his mistress was... Seven... That <laughs> if his mistress was like, what? 18, 19? It's not like it was an affair. His wife passed away after giving birth to his son, right? Oh. It would still be a big scandal. Wait, if my thing about Date being so's son would be true, that would make Date and Iris siblings? What? No, no, no. He impregnated a girl who just graduated high school. Don't you see how that looks? Yeah, yeah, I see how that looks, and that does not look good, because he would be in his early 40s at the time. He knew how the public would take it. That's why he gave you the money to deal with it. There's no way he'll accept that child. It's okay. I told him that I won't cause any trouble. But could you take care of the baby? <sighs> Just for a little bit? I'll be right back. Oh, those were always famous last words. Fine. But take this with you, just in case. The bracelet? Not that I'm sure that would do anything. It's a GPS transmitter. Oh, okay. Just to be extra safe. I really don't think I'll need it. But okay, if it'll make you feel better. And they track the GPS to that spot. Oh, I don't know what Monica saw in So. She said he was kind and loyal, that he wanted to change Japan, but I didn't understand any of it. We tried to convince her to break up with him so many times. She never listened. Yeah. And it ended in tragedy. What happened next, you already know. Neither Renju or I saw it happen, so I don't know how much of this is accurate, but we could guess what happened. Right. <clears throat> Why did he take out her? Oh. So wait, so didn't actually do it, so saw what happened. Don't take this wrong, but since Sil's a piece of shit, I kinda would have rather if he had done it. <laughs> um realize that sounds awful, but you know. It's unfortunate. Wait, where are Peter and Boss? I forgot about that. <coughs> Date, you said that Monica was killed by So, right? But that's not true. Monica uh, was killed by Saito Sejima, his son. the son of So and his late wife. Saito was 12 at the time. What? 12? Holy fuck, it was Date. Yes. But why would a little boy do that? If it was 18 years ago, I then... don't know. I can't imagine. He told her to move overseas. He said he'd pay for everything. Renju told me. But you said he wasn't there. He heard some of this from the Kumakuras. 
Renju had connections oh. with them. Okay. How did the Kumakuras know? So told them. But how do we know So was telling the truth? So contacted his friend, the chairman of the Kumakuras. Rohan, right? He asked him to dispose of the body and left the scene with Saito. The incident was 18 years ago. That means the chairman was Rohan, not Moma. Right. Rohan went to the scene of the crime? <laughs> yes, with some of his men. That's what I thought. Shit. Again, neither Renju or I saw this. We were just waiting at my house for Monica to return. I thought I was overthinking it when I did the whole thing about uh, Date being so son. But she never came back. But now I'm thinking I might have been onto something. We tried to call her cell, but it didn't connect. Though obviously, no, obviously no one said anything, and yada yada. <laughs> but then we saw movement on the GPS. The GPS Renju you gave to Monica. Right. Yes. At first, we thought she was on her way home, but we saw the GPS getting further and further away from the city. Renju and I got nervous, and we decided to follow it. What about the baby? We couldn't take the baby with us, so Renju gave the baby to the mob doctor he trusted. I forgot he knew a mob doctor. But who was that mob doctor is what I'm questioning. <clears throat> Those are Kumakura men. We didn't dare move. We couldn't speak. We were barely breathing. We could only watch as it all unfolded. I yeah. knew what the hole was for, but I couldn't move. Couldn't do anything. I remember my heart beating so fast. Before long. We good here? Yeah. Cover her. Just a minute. Oh, God, I forgot about that, I think. Beautiful. I forgot about that. <gasps> the Kumakura people covered Monica's body, then left. Renju and I ran over and dug up the grave with a tree branch. It what must have taken a while. We saw. guys are. They would do anything to keep this hidden. I've seen it happen myself. Right. I know what they're capable of. Anyway, think about it. Why would they do this? They thought Monica and her baby were going to be trouble. Monica's stomach was still pretty big. I don't think they know that she gave birth already. What do you think they'd do if they found out? They would take her and kill her too. Right. And then, right. they'd come for us. They'd make it look like we disappeared. All of us would be gone. Renju convinced me. He knew more about the dirty underbelly of society than anyone. I mean, in that case, he, well, wasn't wrong. He knew when something couldn't be handled by the police. He said that they would do anything to kill the child. And I believed him. We had to protect Monica's baby. We had to. No matter what. Okay. Yeah. I understand. I decided to trust him. We couldn't leave Monica's body in the forest. We cleaned her up and took her to the cold storage warehouse. Right. No, 
I'm curious why there. This warehouse is owned by Okiura Fishery. My father runs it, but it's not in use right now. They're moving operations to a better area. They're actually looking for buyers right now. But don't worry. I'll take over the warehouse. Are you sure? Yes. Don't worry. I'll keep everyone out. Everyone but you, of course. I'll give you a key. You can come visit any time you want to see Monica. Right. Oh, and the disgusting thing is that means that, like... Monica? On the other route, that... Iris was killed in the same place her mom's dead body was. Don't worry about the baby. Uh, I'll protect her, no matter what. And don't worry about them, either. The people who did this to you... I will... never forgive them. I'm sorry, Monica. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Monica. Serious flashback moment. Let's investigate everything. I know I'm probably not going to get any dialogue from this, but. Can't hurt, I don't think. Uh, let me think. Uh, Sorry, I just had something. Hang on. <laughs> yeah. The mob doctor took care of everything. I have the birth certificate, <laughs> and I even picked up a mother and baby book. Oh, that's good. It wasn't cheap, but you don't have to worry about it. Just submit the birth certificate, and everything will be taken care of. You look worried. I feel like... I'm somehow betraying Monica. She was the one who gave birth. Soon, you won't even be able to think about that. Because a war is about to begin. A war? Between what? you and the baby. You won't oh. get a good night's sleep for a long time. You might even start to resent Monica for all this. Really? Anyway, as soon as you <laughs> submit the certificate, you will officially be her mother. Be sure to raise her responsibly. I'll help. Occasionally. Occasionally, huh? <laughs> I don't really want to discuss this, but there's something you need to know. Right. After talking to the Kumakura gang, I found out who killed Monica. So's son, Saito Sejima. How? Saito was only... Twelve years old. Why? Why would a little boy do that? I don't know the motive, but I know it's true. So yeah. used his connections with the Kumakuras to cover up for his son. And all of the evidence of this scandal, of course. I'll never forgive them. So, his son, or the Kumakuras. I feel the same way. But you can't think about revenge now. You and the baby right. can't lead a life like that. <laughs> Just bear with it for now. I mean, he's kind of right. The opportunity will come. <clears throat> so wait until the right moment. Okay? I was thinking about her name. How about Iris? Iris? Of course. The goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology? And the colored part of your eye? 
And the flower, too. Right. Yeah. I thought it might have something to do with your name, Hitomi. <laughs> Not only that, it's also for Monica's name. The kanji for Monica uses the character for love. Right. And Monica reminds me of Monaco, Japanese for I. So both names have something to do with the I. And I, yeah. which means love, will always be a part of Iris. So that's how you came up with the name? Don't you think it's nice? Iris. Iris. Yeah. I really like it. It, it also explains why Renju keeps... Uh, kept looking out for Iris all these years. In his own way. And so my life with Iris began. When it came to her career. Raising a child was much harder than I expected. Waking up in the middle of the night to change diapers or feed her. Iris wasn't a good sleeper. I had to sing her lullabies to put her to sleep. And I always needed to put her to bed so carefully. It would only take 10 seconds before she'd start crying again. I had to pick her up, sing her another lullaby, then put her back to bed. After doing this over and over, before I knew it, the morning sun would creep in through the windows. But yeah. Even with all of that, I cherished every single day. My hatred for those responsible never went away. Of course. But my hands were full, raising Iris. I devoted myself to her. I never thought about anything else. Eventually, my desire for revenge just faded away. Right. Mama! Mama! Woof! Woof! <laughs> Mama! Amwe! Amwe! Sweepy! Up! Mommy, I won race today! Is Mommy proud of me? <laughs> Mommy, I want to see Milky Moon again! Mommy, you are so good at dancing! Mommy, pancakes are done! Sorry, I burned it a little. Mommy, why can't I dance at the stores? I can't help it! My body dances on its own! <laughs> Mommy, don't more people come to barbecues? How come it's always you and me? Hey, Mommy! How long will it take my bone to get better? I want to dance again with everybody. Aww. Hey, Mommy! Do you like my shirt? Look, we're matching! Mommy, thank you for everything! I love you more than anything in the whole wide world! <laughs> Mommy, look! I wonder if Iris ever figured it out. I drew it! <laughs> the Okonomiyaki War, huh? That was so fun! We should do it again! The food or the food fight? Um... Both! <laughs> I'm gonna have to say no to the latter, sweetie. It took forever to clean. But Uncle said he wants to do it again, too! Hey, Mommy? Yes? Are you gonna marry him? What? What are you talking about? As long as it's Uncle, I'm all for it! I say go for it! <laughs> I would always question myself. Could I keep living a lie? I had promised Monica that I would avenge her, but I couldn't work up the courage. And maybe Renju was exaggerating, but there's no statute of limitations for murder in Japan. Right. If we showed Monica's body to the police, so would be punished by the law. And the Sejima's and Kumakura's crimes would be uncovered. But that would mean... Iris' secret would be uncovered as well. Yeah. That's what I was really worried about. I didn't want Iris to know that So was her father. And even more than that, I didn't want her to know that I'm not her real mother. I wonder if a part of her always knew. That's the real reason I've been silent for 18 years. I didn't want to lose Iris. But... Fate can be cruel. God used other means to take Iris from me. Oh, I was just talking about the uh, brain tumor, right? <clears throat> In January, Iris suddenly collapsed. Yeah, I wanna. I actually just wanna check where I'm on the flowchart. 
Oh, right. Yeah, this, this already came up, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so I have to be close to... I have to be close to an ending, though. I'm not sure where else <laughs> to even go. It was caused by a malignant tumor in her brain. Right. There's nothing we can do. She only has a year to live at most. That's what the doctor said. If you remember me telling you. Yeah. What I didn't tell you is that there was an experimental new treatment. It mm. was. Some of the cutting edge nano machines can even go inside your body and cure illnesses. Oh, right. They can even cure cancer. And they go. Beep, beep, beep. That's what mom said. Right, right. Nano machines. Nano machines could remove the tumor, but the procedure would be so expensive. With yeah. my salary, it wasn't something I could afford. I thought hard about it, about how I could get my hands on that kind of money, but I couldn't think of a solution. Time passed. Right. Before I knew it, it was November. Iris's symptoms worsened. <clears throat> Her time was running out. I was starting to panic. I couldn't sit here and waste time while Iris... So you went to solo. In any case, I had to get the money before it was too late. So I thought of a plan. A plan to blackmail Sol Tsujima. Right. Well, why not just ask Renju? Renju is rich. <laughs> Benju has all this money. Two days ago, on Saturday night, I called So and invited him to come to the warehouse. I don't end it. Like, I feel like Renju could have afforded it. And if everyone knows that you two are close. And especially, especially with the situation. Like, if you have all this money and your closest friend's kid is like in such an awful position why the fuck not spend some of it on them especially if you've been helping in other ways I understand if she wouldn't have wanted to tell him but if he but if Renju knew and didn't do a fucking thing that is pretty fucking shitty also if she didn't even mention it to him that's also a little shitty because it's like a case of like putting Iris's, you know, it's putting her pride of a virus's life type thing. He agreed to come. After I hinted at what happened 18 years ago, I had prepared everything. <sighs> hiding behind the forklift until So came. When he finally arrived. He walked over to the workbench where I had laid Monica's body. He lifted the cloth right. and looked down. <sighs> he whimpered and stumbled back. Even he was phased, seeing a body he thought he got rid of 18 years ago. Not right. to mention it was the body of a woman he was in a relationship with. A woman his own son killed. Right. He reacted exactly as I expected he would. Damn. I had prepared a recording and sent it to his phone. to keep quiet and cut ties with the Kumakuras. Well, he didn't cut ties with them because he's on the other side. Even if he found out who I was, without the <laughs> Kumakura gang, he had no power over me. And there's no way he'd risk his political career. Not right. to go after me. I saw So put his phone back into his pocket and run out of the warehouse. And that was when Date said. 
I came out of my hiding place to put Monica's body back, but then something unexpected happened. Yeah, Date ran in. I saw you, Date. I hid behind the forklift before you saw me. And when you were done looking around, I will just, I just have to pause this for a second because my alarm's going off. <laughs> 